Welcome everybody back to this episode of Conning Around. I'm your host Mike as always. Uh, it has been a pretty crazy weekend so I've got a lot of videos I gotta shoot. It's been a little bit I know uh, but I've got several videos I'm gonna be shooting over the course of tonight. Try to get them all ready for to have them sent out throughout the throughout the week. Uh, but basically yeah, like I said, Rose City. I was, we were just there. I just got back, started filming all this stuff, and it was a crazy weekend. Uh, I was gonna try to do live videos, but I had zero service. If anybody who was there, there where it was, the service sucked. It was some of the worst I've had. Um, but like I said, overall, the actual convention itself. I mean, it was crazy on Saturday. Friday we kind of took for granted a little bit uh being like the first day it was I mean it wasn't busy or anything so we got everything done we took a look at everything uh we bought a bunch of stuff which normally we don't do like we like I said before we tried not to buy things on the first day but there was one booth and you'll see in other videos uh why we bought what we bought and it was crazy uh so but in this video it's kind of a decently large one is uh just some of the mail call pickup stuff that we got over the course of this last week prior to uh uh the convention and i was able to shoot the video and get it out it was like i said i got all this stuff and then it was like okay the next day we got to go we had to get ready and get going so i'm gonna kick this thing off uh i did get a couple things like i said in the mail uh, i picked up a couple stuff so we'll kind of start off with the uh First thing right here, I mean, I got a bunch of rock candies, so I got like the uh, Doctor Who, the Amy Pond, the uh, Fan Expo rock candy, which I was kind of excited to get, like as always, get my rock candies. Um, but yeah, popping these, getting this open. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a little bit, I've got, I've got probably, I figure about, I've got a bunch of stuff just kind of laying around here right now, but probably, I'll probably have at least three or four videos. Um, oh, she actually, she, she's the doll look. She, this one looks pretty awesome. Oh, her, her boot doesn't fit. Oh, there we go. All right. Nice. She's pretty awesome looking. If you know anything from Doctor Who for Amy Pond? This is, it's a really good look that they chose on that one for this one. Uh, I could have gone with the, uh, the cop outfit or uh the many different outfits that she could have had but yeah no this is awesome and amazing next one i got also goes doctor who it is the 13th doctor which i was really excited they that they decided to make this one because i'm i'm really excited for uh jody whittaker as the next doctor I'm kind of excited to see what she brings to the table. Uh, there's rumors that she wants to bring back uh, Billy Piper Rose to the show, so that could be that could be exciting. That could be interesting to see how they want to bring her back. Because um, with that, they could also potentially bring back David Tennant. So, oh, this is a sweet, awesome little. But yeah, like I said over this weekend was insane. It was nuts. Uh, I did get to meet a lot of. I did meet a couple people who were fans of the show, and I absolutely it was amazing to meet you guys. Uh, and I thank you for everything. Like I said, it was really cool, nice to sit down and just kind of talk to everybody. You know, meet all sorts of new people again. Uh, meet a lot of artists get a bunch of artwork and everything like that it oh what was that did this fill? oh his stand is different instead of the stand being on the back of this like how this is uh new scamander stand was actually on the bottom which is kind of weird so but yeah so the next one we got is obviously like i just said is newt scamander which actually this is an not a new one. I mean, there isn't too many males in the line. Obviously, if you know anything about the rock candies, there isn't a whole lot of the male line. 
Uh, but yeah, there he is with his, uh, his briefcase with all of his, uh, magical creatures and they actually did a pretty good job with him though. They actually did surprisingly a really good job with how he looks, uh, how Eddie Redmayne looks. Last one of the rock candies I have are basically, like I said, all these are all commons except for the uh, Amy Pond. That one was the, uh, like I said, fan Canada Fan Expo. Uh, but the rest of these, these were all commons. I figured I just want to try to keep keep this line continued. Oh, and uh, Dumbledore, actually, young Dumbledore, doesn't actually have a stand. So there he is. I'm excited to see how. Uh, his portrayal is in the next movie. It's going to be real interesting. No, but really... I thought there was a little scuff on his face. No, he actually looks good. It looks like he's got kind of like a corduroy uh, jacket. And everything like that. Really cool. He's got his wand already here. No, it's going to be pretty exciting to see that one. I can't wait to, for that movie. That's definitely on top of my list of uh, upcoming movies for this summer. Or not summer, but for winter, fall, all that fun jazz. Like I said, I'm still kind of out of it from over this weekend. So, um, Next thing we got, actually I just got home, just got this. So it is the BAM exclusive Minerva McGonagall, Minerva McGonagall cat form from uh, Barnes & Noble. So, oh, BAM, sorry. It was the BAM. Barnes & Noble is the uh, new Scamander that I just ordered. So, can't wait to show that one off as well. But here she is. And all her little glory. I was kind of hoping they were going to do like a, uh, a flock version of this. They probably will, like they always do. They'll make a flock version of this. And they'll sucker me into getting more because... I am a completist, like you guys all know. Gotta have, gotta have everything for my set. Oh, she does not stand. She just leans forward really heavily. Yeah, she doesn't really stand at all. All right, that's kind of interesting. Um, the next two things are kind of the the bigger ones. This next one is the uh, Fan Expo Lucas Lee. This was kind of one of the big ones on our list of must-haves from the fan expo because we wanted to keep this line basically complete fully I'm only missing the two the two uh new york comic-con ones the uh o-face knives and the astro boy shirt uh scott pilgrim so but this one i probably thought i thought about i should probably get like nine of these you know for all of his stunt doubles but no, he looks actually he looks pretty awesome. He's got his skateboard and everything he has. Can't wait to meet Chris Evans and talk to him. You know about this one, about this movie and everything. But no, this is now the big one that I had in this in this one is I picked it. Like I, said, I just picked it up just before, but it is the. Snap, Crackle, Pop, the uh, Funko Shop exclusive three-pack, which we'd all heard about, we'd all been waiting for. Uh, so, decided, because I, I remember, because I was basically, basically written it off that I was going to get this. And somebody had said that there was still a damage box there, so I went to, I went to headquarters, drove there real quick, managed to get the... Uh, the damage one it wasn't too bad i mean there was there was some minor damage up in the corner here and some of the close stuff which i mean i would have dealt with just because i wanted that set and as i was just kind of talking to everybody else they brought out a uh brand new brand new box of them so i switched out my damage the damage one for the new one. Oh, these look absolutely amazing so here we go. Here's here is Snap with a uh, milk. He's got his hat on. They got the chef hat on. Uh, these kind of remind me. I kind of want the. Uh, oh, I can't remember the the, the, the cookie uh, the Keebler elves. Kind of want the Keebler elves. 
kind of hoping that they do those ones now that they kind of have these ones which are similar in style. Here's Crackle with the bowl of cereal. Yeah, these... I am so happy that these ones got made because... I mean, eating Rice Krispies... Eating just the cereal, I used to eat them all the time. Uh, but if you remember some of my, my earlier stories with just the... Uh, about going to cons and stuff like that and bringing just Rice Krispies treats. Terrible idea, but... Like I said, I was still happy to get these ones, but here's Pop with his spoon in hand. But yeah, so definitely this was a must-have as soon as this got announced. I couldn't wait to get it. Uh, but yeah, so that was the, like I said, that's one video of several that's going to be going. Um, but thank you everybody who did go, who did say hi and stuff like that, that I did meet. Uh... But as always, like this video, subscribe if you have not, uh, comment as always, I try to respond to everybody who's commented, and uh, as always, you guys are fantastic, and you take care, see you later.